One of my biggest challenges is to make sure we get time to incorporate fine arts into our curriculum, both music and theater and art, because the children have a lot less time to do that these days due to budget cuts. Testing has taken over um, much of our California State curriculum, and those tests are so unbelievably important now that they don't have time for the arts and putting together opportunities for the kids to write more than short stories or what the state standards are asking us to do don't come along often enough. The B Street Playwriting Workshop is a way for us to teach kids the basic tenets of playwriting in 90 minutes, and by the end of that 90 minutes, they'll have written a play collectively together. We teach them what the function of the protagonist is, we teach them what the antagonist is, and the way we teach them is by getting them on their feet so that they actually have a practical application of these concepts. They end up doing improv and they end up writing and they learn how to take things that are just expository and putting them into um, the playwriting format and something they've never done before. A lot of the kids are math and science oriented, so writing is not something that they love to do. Having them do these plays draws out a side of them that they're not always comfortable um, expressing. It's amazing. You'll think that one of the kids can seem exceptionally shy, and, and they'll be the ones that really blossom when you get them up on their feet. What we try to do is teach them structure when it comes to writing plays, that there needs to be some conflict that the resolution stems from somebody changing, whether it's our protagonist or our antagonist. Somebody needs to go through a change so that we can have the resolution. And that's where their creativity really takes off because they'll come up with some crazy ideas, some really fun stuff that then, again, when we bring them up on stage to act out, they have a blast. <laughs> I think it helps uh, tremendously with language skills. I had third graders giving me academic language that was far beyond a third grade academic language. I learned about my grammar, punctuation, how to write, and a complete sentence and paragraphs and just script work. <laughs> when we were all working as a class, it was really fun just hearing everyone else shouting out ideas and screaming about their plays. The students' excitement is just through the roof. There's this electricity in the, in the room that is palpable. It's my favorite time of year. At every school that we visit, we inform them that we have a contest. We get submissions from all over Northern California, from, from kids of all ages. We read these plays, and we select these winners, and then those winning plays are performed all throughout Northern California, and it's amazing. You would think after 20-some-odd years that you would start to see the same ideas, but every year there's at least a dozen plays that you've never even thought of. The kids' imaginations run wild. You want the whole town to be a trampoline. Oh, it's actually kind of funny because I went in my memory and I thought of something that would be perfect and I thought of my aunt's trampoline because when we got down it hurt our feet so I thought how would it feel if you had to do it all the time. What I know is that the arts have been proven to help students in every other subject. I would tell every teacher to do this to find a way, find the funding, because it makes a difference in how they feel about themselves. When the kids actually come in and, and see their plays, to see the sense of pride that they have in themselves. It's almost like I'm famous type of thing. My dad keeps clapping really loud when we had our school performances up. It just makes me feel kind of special. And they just are so excited that they did this. These are their words. I was so excited when I heard it. It's awesome. I'm very proud of myself. I can't thank you enough for this program because of that reason. Um, what it does for them inside is as important as what they produce on the outside.